How much money you think they are asking for this house? All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Luis Bruno. I am a realtor down here in Savannah, Georgia, in case you didn't know me. And I wanted to show you this house and also share with you some market stats. That way you have a better understanding of how much home you can get for your money. All right, that is the whole point of this video. So pay close attention because I'm going to share with you different areas that you can maybe search and look for the home that you're looking for. So this home right here is a five bedroom, three bathrooms. It has 2,526 square feet. It is actually here in the community called Muswood, right? In Savannah, Georgia. It's 214 Sawgrass Drive. It is currently for sale by Teresa Cowart, which is a, uh, a real estate agent down here from Remax, right? She's the, the listing agent and they're asking $374,990. Now this home was built in 2012, as you can see, it's not a brand new construction or anything like that. Now it's been on the market for a little bit, right? So if you go on Zillow, you can look at the pictures, but here's a video as well. Now let us let me tell you, before we get any deeper into the details of this house, I wanted to share with you guys the price medium in all the different areas of Chatham County. If you don't know, Chatham County is basically Savannah, Georgia, and the surrounding areas, all right? So I did some research before this video, and here it is. So if you're looking for a home in Savannah, the price medium right now is $330,000. That's in Savannah. In Pooler, it is $375,000. In Tybee Island, it is $635,000. In Bloomingdale, which is right next to Pooler, is $327,000. Now, Check this out, pay close attention. In Port Wentworth, which is basically right by the airport, right there, right next to Pooler as well, it is $284,000, all right? Now, let's say, for example, that you're going to other counties, such as Bryan County, which is the Richmond Hill area, Ellaville, and things like that. So Richmond Hill is $375,000, which is the same as Pooler, and then you have Rankin, which is $340,000 right the price medium in Guyton on the other side is 350,000 all right 350,000 now something that I wanted to uh, help you with is basically this so if you're looking for more land right in this area you, you just you just want a house with more land maybe the houses are a little bit more separated from each other I would suggest you you do whatever you want but I would suggest Take a look at Guyton, Rankin, and Ellabelle, Georgia, all right? You can also take a look at Midway, Georgia, because if you're wanting to find a house in Savannah, Georgia, with a bunch of land, yes, you could find it. I'm not saying you cannot find it, but it's very unlikely to find it at a cheap price. You're going to have to pay for it, right? You're going to have to pay what you're getting for it because the location counts a lot, all right? Now here's another thing that can help you take a screenshot of this or take a picture of it if you're watching it on the TV. Here are different type of loans the credit score require and the minimum down payment that you need if you wanted to buy a house down here in Georgia, all right? So take a screenshot of that and let's continue. All right, another thing that is extremely helpful if you're looking to purchase home in this area, maybe move sometime in the future or whatever. I have a playlist, guys. I have a playlist on my YouTube channel. It's called Communities. And there, you will find a bunch of communities in different areas. And it's basically me driving around. You have drone footage. You have uh, the HOA information. Everything that you need to know about those communities, it's right there on those playlists. And that playlist is going to continue growing every single week because my goal for this YouTube channel is to have every single community uploaded with videos, drum footage, and everything. That way you can literally just be on your couch or laying on your bed and you can search every single community in Chatham County, Bryan County, Effingham, and things like that, all right? So there is a bunch of there, check it out and don't forget to subscribe. I just passed more than 1,200 people that already subscribed to the channel. But according to YouTube, about 80%, actually it is 85% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So that is sad. So make sure to subscribe to, to the channel. 
so you don't miss out on this content, all right? So let's check out now a Jack and Jill setup with two bedroom and the bathroom in the middle here on the second floor or this home. Here we got the same room from another angle. And by the way, so I mentioned Jack and Jill setup. Um, I am not a huge fan of this type of setup just because I, I know the kids still fight anyway. If you have kids and they're using the same bathroom, they're getting ready for school, they're fighting with each other, wanting to get ready at the same time or whatever. So yes, it is functional. And I know a lot of people love it. I am actually not one of those people. So, and here would be the second uh, bedroom on the second floor as well. They have a poker table, as you can see, that's not included with the sale. So don't worry about it. By the way, I got a secret and listen to this. This is the only thing that I wish was a little bit different than what it is. And here's why. Let me tell you, let me show you guys this. I gotta say, hello. So, have you noticed uh, the houses are close to each other? Not all of them, but the majority of them are super close to each other. And that means if you, for whatever reason, if you eat too much, right, and your body start making unnecessary noises, right, your check engine light comes on or whatever, they're gonna hear that. So you gotta be, you know, quiet and do your thing, do your business in the bathroom. Don't do it outside, because they're gonna hear it. I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. Why are you so serious?